Hello and good morning. Welcome to CMFX Pro. We're going to give you a quick uh, update right before New York session for the conditions of our exhaustion indicator up against the market. So let's begin. Uh, I did post a video yesterday uh, before the week started and uh, I've heard a lot of great success uh, for the people that don't have my indicator. I've got a lot of messages this morning. Uh, saying just going off that video they made quite a lot of pips so congratulations free pips for all okay let's begin please stop and read by continuing you are accepting these terms okay all right we're gonna start right out with the USD index as always we had high exhaustion Friday came up matched the same zone level of high exhaustion and nice drop USD chef high exhaustion came back uh, dipped down for the gap and uh, pulled up to the Asia and matched the same exhaustion area. Now it's just kind of tightly ranging uh, below the 200. But between the USD index and the USD chef having this high exhaustion, guess what it did? Bye bye. Low exhaustion established as low a day on Friday. Uh, price came back down on a London session, matched up that same zone price, uh, exhaustion price, and took right off. Uh, really nicely over 105 pips nice nice move today make sure whoever uh, followed my video uh, obviously uh, signals weren't given out uh, for conditions or whatever uh, they didn't receive the signals <clears throat> but um make sure you trail your stop loss P protect that bag protect that bag of money okay uh, EU same conditions Low exhaustion Friday, came down London session, met met that low exhaustion, uh, shot up about 75 pips, or a little bit more than that, actually. We do got some high exhaustion sitting here, uh, so let's see if this is going to play out to be a false week beginning uh, move. Uh, let the market maker uh, finish their moves today and uh, get back in line. Uh, low exhaustion Friday, it did come up. Uh, to here and shot back down for London session. I'm sure in the M5 we had some high exhaustion. I do see a sticky finger right there, an EMA exhaustion finger. And let's zoom in on that bad boy. Come on. Let's see here. Yep, there she is, right there. Okay, let's continue. And high exhaustion right here as of Friday. Uh, did drop nicely. Sticky finger again right in this area. Uh, did come up and back. Uh, followed the same movement as uh, AU. Uh, another sticky finger condition. Came down low exhaustion. And uh, now it's breaking below the 200. Okay. UJ. High exhaustion came down at a 200. We got a nice green sticky finger right here. All right, trend is still up, but this is a pullback. That bearish candle. Uh, then it came down and uh, just kind of ranging between a 200. US CAD. Let me see here. We had some nice low exhaustion Thursday. She's been riding kind of nicely. We're starting to get some high exhaustion established. Uh, 13 and 50 has crossed 200. Yeah. I'm gonna get some nice, you know, some nice low exhaustion uh, Wednesday, and she kind of took off nice, too low rise. Now it's locked above the uh, 800. We do have some high exhaustion. You see exhaustion? Take caution. That's all I can say. GA. Nice low exhaustion, uh, gapped up. Uh, so if you got in on this low of day exhaustion, I'll tell you right now, that gapped up number one, didn't even close the gap, and just took off 158 pips last night. Uh, beautiful trade. Same with GN. Low exhaustion did come down and meet that same level of exhaustion price-wise. Uh, 170 pips. Uh, has reached day range high now, so just be cautious of that. 
we do have the 13 trying to cross 200 uh, so here's your exhaustion it's at a day level right now so we'll see what, what happens uh, for New York EN uh, you had a sticky finger right here I'm sure on the five minute I'm not going to switch to it I'm sure in this area it had low exhaustion I'm sure this had low exhaustion on the five minute uh, to follow the conditions there and it's still a nice downtrend uh, hit up against the 800 so uh, took a nice 80 90 pip rise did hit day range high up against a major EMA 800 EJ simple low exhaustion Friday came down London session got a little bit below that exhaustion uh, trapping uh, crossing uh, 13 and the 5 EMA were right looking like they're going to drop off the 200 and they pulled that right away. Very famous trapping style that they do. They'll get two EMAs close to another major EMA and let the one fall and the other will just bounce off it and take off. Very common. I'm not surprised. CJ, low exhaustion out of London session. Came up and ranged a little bit. Now it's breaking above the uh, 200 uh, condition nice low exhaustion out of London took off all right okay nice pip movement last week last Friday specifically uh, really nice let's see at low exhaustion Friday up against the major EMA 800 and she took off 136 pips probably about a hundred pips by the time you get away from the yeah 90 80 yeah about 100 110 pips or so so uh, New Zealand Jap had that high exhaustion peak on Friday came down at low exhaustion right here uh, it did come down gap time this had low exhaustion in this area. Gap time came down, and you could have banked both ways with this. Uh, high exhaustion Asia, low exhaustion London, and move a lot of pips, but uh, Euro Chef, nice low exhaustion Friday, and came up quite nicely, 55 pips or so. Really nice. Odd Chef, low exhaustion. Ranging below to 200. Gold. Gold had a nice low exhaustion. Nice pull down. Vector move out. Uh, if you got sitting in here, pretty nice. Uh, I'm sure there was a daily low condition breached uh, or whatnot. So came up. Now it's up against the 200 and the 800. You got some high exhaustion getting established. So keep an eye on that. Okay. We had high exhaustion here, dropped down on the five minute. Everything gapped up. I'm sure there was low exhaustion on the five minute right here. Uh, everything came up, bounced. You got the, the 50 and the 13 crossing the 200. There's your low exhaustion right here before it came in. What's amazing about the data and the combination I use is you notice how this EMA way up high and it doesn't even bounce the EMA to go off to over here well this is your price action okay your dots represent price action your fingers represent EMA exhaustion what it's really trying to tell you is that this EMA is exhausted three fingers this 50 EMA is exhausted it has to come back and it does it's very simple Price action and EMA exhaustion combined is the most powerful thing. It's ever used in every market. Stocks, crypto, forex. It's two basic conditions. And that's why this indicator is becoming quite hot. Uh, as it can, there's a, there's a story to, uh, if you have the right indicator, work in all markets. And I will tell you, uh, the feedback I'm getting from everybody and before I even launched this I seen the potential immediately what I created and it uh, the indicator don't lie it does work in all markets uh, 
simple rules that I apply for conditions, and it's it's off to the races. There's there's a lot of money to be had. Start that money from that market maker, and this is the way to do it. Okay, ribbon shaft low exhaustion. All right, nice drop off a Thursday high. I believe it did hit a weekly uh, condition. It might even been a monthly. I don't remember. Um, so we have a nice low exhaustion here. She's up against 200 right now at day range high hit with exhaustion on M15. Catch that. Uh, we had a low exhaustion here, just ranging tightly between EMAs. Another hit to low exhaustion. Uh, keep an eye on that. All right. Once again, we had the high exhaustion Thursday, high exhaustion Friday. Your OCAD. If you did drop down, I'm sure on the M5, you would have seen this low exhaustion breach. And uh, that would have been your tight entry for intraday trading conditions. All right. She has broken uh, trend line quite nicely uh, already with this high exhaustion sitting up here. So might have missed that one a little bit. But she might retest off of this 50 and come back up. So you just have to, you already lost the exhaustion value. Uh, she dropped down quite nicely right off the exhaustion. 52.34. Yeah. 52, yeah, already 30 pips or so. So, see what she does against retesting this 50 EMA. We had the high exhaustion Friday, low exhaustion was the last exhaustion. Uh, kind of range, dropped down to London, low exhaustion, and did pull away. Bounce off to an ID 50, bounce off the uh, 200, well, EMA bounce, I'll just call it that. Okay. A lot of ranging going on. You could break this down on a five minute time frame and really snag some pips. You got all these wide spreads of EMA right here. Nicely spread. Now they're starting to get jumped up together here. Look at this high exhaustion hit. Look at she just dropped right down. 91.40, 94, 18. Oh, yeah. Already 20 pips or so. Uh, on New Zealand. Okay, very tight ranging. All the EMAs are kind of tight. Uh, they got some high exhaustion right here. Got your EMA stickies, fingers, EMA exhaustion. Uh, great big. And low exhaustion Friday at day range high, right up to the 800. On the N15, high exhaustion. Uh, keep an eye on that for New York. New Zealand CAD, really just ranging now. Everything's locking above the 200. Uh, we had this high exhaustion uh, here Thursday and Friday. Uh, so it's pretty tight. Uh, everything is locked above the 800, but with this ranging like this, just be careful. Uh, she could break out one way or the other. She break down or break out. Uh, it looks like it's getting ready to test uh, breaking a neckline one way or the other. Doing chef, really nice ranging actually. All these fingers, if you broke down on the five minute time frame, will give you some exhaustion conditions so you can see the high and lows of the day. Scalp the crap out of that. Uh, so, a lot of opportunities. There's going to be a lot of volatility in the market that's going to move the market in big ways up and down. Uh, I don't know if even they're going to have enough time to consolidate with all the news that comes out so fast relating to trading, Brexit, uh, I mean, uh, the trade tariffs, uh, Brexit, and now I guess there's some military talks between uh, sanctions or some military thing going on with China and uh, U.S. So uh, keep an eye on the news, very, very closely keep an eye on the news through this high, high volatility uh, time. We're going to go right to Forex Factory. We're going to get caught up for you trade. Check the news. Uh, it's not recommended, and you must do it. <laughs> All right. So 9 a.m., we got some uh, Euro news coming out, red news. Uh, anybody effects. So just watch that tomorrow. Here's tomorrow's news, red news, red news. Got some Great Britain news. Somebody else is speaking, especially with Brexit conditions. Anybody that speaks on Euro News and Great Britain News, be very 
very cautious okay all right let's get back to the charts I want everybody to get a chance to see this before New York session opens we got news coming out at nine o'clock let's check our m5 conditions really quick uh, let's see here Doo -doo -doo -doo. so we got some high exhaustion hit on it 800 previous low exhaustion was here's your uh, EMA exhaustion price exhaustion so that's our previous exhaustion 20 minutes before news so we'll have to see trend is down though so be wary of that majorly down for USD chef down down so but we do have low exhaustion on h1 so uh, low low nice ranging very nice ranging easy money got nice low exhaustion on h1 right here all right let's see There's no low exhaustion. We do have EMA exhaustion, but other than that, GU and uh, USD Chef is, you really want to see some high exhaustion here. And you want to see some, well, you do got low exhaustion. So right now she's not playing the game. But USD Chef is low exhaustion. Uh, dollar index, that is low exhaustion right now, 20 minutes before the news. So, okay, that's conditions uh, right before New York session. Hope everybody has a great day and a great week, and let's go get those pips. All right, everybody have a good day. Thank you. Bye.